Hey guys, Gian here of GadgetPilipinas.net. This is something that is probably familiar to you. This is something that we blogged about a couple of weeks ago, and this is the Cata Box. The Cata Box uh, is actually retailing for 2,999 pesos. It includes the following of course, the Cata Box, the charging unit, the micro USB cable, the remote, and of course, this uh, nice looking Cata controller. Now, just to tell you what it has or what ticks in its box, it has an Amlogic S805N 1.5 GHz quad core processor. It has a Mali 45, 450 GPU, 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal storage. Now, what's special about it is that apart from you being able to play games on it, you can also enjoy 60 days free Mega VPN access. What it gives you is basically an access to a multitude of movies, TV series for 60 days. Now, what's good about it is that you can actually extend or subscribe to more months if you wish to do so. What we're going to do is to give you a quick device walkthrough of uh, the cat box. This is the cat box right here. Kind of looks like the Apple TV. <laughs> uh, on the right side of uh, the box, we have here a full-sized um, USB. Uh, port at the back you have another USB port a micro SD slot and a DC port and AV if you want to extend it uh, to your favorite television set there is also an HDMI um, port over here so that you can use it on your HD TVs there is a port for LAN so that if you wish to connect it uh, via LAN then you may do so but there's also a built-in Wi-Fi so that if you don't have a LAN cable with you you can easily connect to the internet All right this is the remote of uh, the Kata box unfortunately at the back there are there is no full-size keyboard here uh, but this should do uh, you have the power button there is this mega VPN key right here and uh, also uh, the mute this one is uh, kind of similar to the iPod, the old iPod. This button right here. Ooh, it lights up. And uh, also, a back um, select and menu. And uh, these buttons are for the volume rockers. Okay. All right. And battery wise, it is powered by a CR2032 battery. Now here's uh, something that you can use so that you can connect the Kata controller easily. Put it in there, and then you can simply pair it, pair this to the Kata box. And if you want to charge it, then all you have to do is to use the uh, included uh, micro USB cable right here. Just pretty nice. Charge it. I wonder though if you can use this on your PC as a substitute to your Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller. I don't know, but hopefully it would work. What you are seeing now is uh, the interface of the Kata box. Um, we've connected it to our Elgato HD60, so you're able to see what we currently see at the moment. Um, we've already successfully connected our um, wireless receiver and uh, the Kata box. Kata box that we have now is uh, connected and it's fully charged. So, just to give you or show you what can this what this device can do, you can uh, basically control everything on the screen um, using these buttons right here. That one. And if you use the controller, the uh, rumble buttons may be used. The left one can maybe used to select tabs and the right one may be used to basically uh, you move the cursor on the screen pretty nice if I click Kata yeah. it's gonna tell me that I can sign up for a Kata Cloud which I will probably do later now um, we have installed already some games here uh, so we can show you how capable this device is uh, we have here the PPSSPP 
Um, with uh, this device, we can uh, basically play some PlayStation portable games that is available now in the market. Um, right. So we've actually heard that uh, games can actually be played on this device. So if you have some ISOs at home, you can actually put it on Lower down the uh, volume. Do you wish to use the memory stick? Controls are working pretty well, as you can see on your screen. Saving to memory stick. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> There's some noticeable lag. Uh, it, not noticeable, it is really lagging. <laughs> Bloodlines is not working out pretty well on Catabox. We'll get back to Catabox later. I mean, we'll go back to the Assassin's Creed later. Now, um, other games or other emulators we have, we have here My Boy. Let's play some Super Mario. Here we go, Super Mario. button. Right. No, there's 
away. Just swipe it, swipe it, swipe it. Obviously, oh, there. Using uh, the click wheel would uh, allow you to control this one. There's an uh, input lag though. Uh, again, I guess uh, one of the caveats that I have with uh, this one is that it doesn't have a Bluetooth connectivity uh, function. I'm actually trying to find it out on the settings, but I can't seem to find the Bluetooth connectivity. So I guess that's something that uh, may that may probably be addressed if you have a Bluetooth dongle, which I don't have, unfortunately. Uh, the reason for me looking for that is I have here a Logitech uh, wireless keyboard. Uh, I would like to connect it to the Kato box, but I'm unable to do so because it doesn't have any Bluetooth connectivity. So, about, again, it is on 4.4.2. Let's see if there is an update. Hmm. Let's see if there's a new version. Is fully updated so yeah there you have it guys uh, this has been our quick device preview and device walkthrough and a uh, bit of impressions of the cattle box for more cattle box information and news and also some videos about the cattle box just tune into our Facebook and also on our YouTube page if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page just click that subscribe button and if you think that this video is very likable we would appreciate if you could also click that thumbs up button again this is GN of GadgetPilipinas.net thank you very much for joining me in this device preview and first impressions of Catabox again thank you and have a great day ahead